I'm Splashes, and welcome to episode 24 of Minecraft Maniacs. And, so last time, we finished up this iron farm. Well, mostly we had other people build it, the iron farm, and then we fixed the iron farm. Uh, but we've already gathered up a good amount of iron, so we already have this, this, and up there. And that's really awesome. But today what we're going to try and do... Come on, why, why aren't you flying right now? Uh, today what we're going to try and do is get the villager trading hall all set up, and then I never want to have to touch villagers again. Just never again. And this is going to be a very large trading hall. Right now we have planned for about 116 villagers. Uh, and we're going to have 26 librarians, 20 farmers, 20 uh, masons and 16 clerics, as well as just a couple of the other various numbers. Uh, but that should give us all the stuff we will need for trading with. Uh, and with the masons, more importantly, that will give us a lot of forts, as well as a, they can also trade for terracotta. And since we have the reed eye pack, we can go ahead and change the colors pretty easily. But ideally, I would like to find ones with certain or it'd be nice if I could get just a couple of the main colors uh, and especially greens because I'm probably going to use a lot of greens and probably a lot of blues in making the uh, different um, so, some of the dragons that I want to make eventually uh, but before we get the villager trading hall set up we need to go ahead and build up these walls because these walls are going to be the backs so the villagers don't get out. And then I'm just going to sort of go straight along here like this so that way the villagers don't have any options. Or th 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 that way everything's all a nice long straight line. Uh, and I think that'll be really cool. So we're basically going to go ahead and build up another structure like this. And we just have... So we already have a whole, like, eight shulkers of rotten flesh here, plus however much stuff is in there. Uh, and then here's all the stuff we have for making all of the different villagers. Now, for conversion stuff, we're only going to go ahead and convert the uh, clerics. Because the rest of the stuff, the better trades really don't make it that much of a difference. But here's all the materials we have for getting this set up and hopefully that should be enough if not then I guess I'll just have to make some more but with that let's jump into hyperspeed build mode And end of hyperspeed build mode and I think I screwed up in that hyperspeed build mode in just about every way imaginable so I wound up hitting escape for a big chunk of it which is why it sort of jumped forward and then I accidentally was had the screen minimized so OBS wasn't updating uh, and then at one point during the thing I accidentally moved the camera and escaped again uh, so yeah uh, professional uh, but we have this all set up now, uh, and we're going to go ahead and have to put all the stuff down here, and I'm hoping these trapdoors will prevent the stuff from coming, or these guys from getting out, and I'm hoping I can go ahead and stick a redstone contraption on here, so I can just go ahead and plop, plop all those down to hide away all the villagers, and this lo just looks so awesome, but at the same time, I realize like how monumental of a task I've set out for myself <laughs> and I just hope I'm going to be able to figure out how to get the villagers in here I'm just 
first try seeing if I can just get a minecart in there. I think the minecart's gonna be too big, but I can try. If not, I might just have to build up a little structure around them and use a piston to push them in. Uh, but we can go ahead and test out with our first subject and see how it goes. Okay, and ah, crap. Take two. No, I'm so bad at flying. Okay, there we go. And push the button. Oh, I'm out of dispensers. Or I'm out of minecarts. Okay. Take four. Push the button. There goes our villager. Yeah! Ow! 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 Here he comes. I'm gonna fix myself. My ankles hurt. So let's see how this goes. I'm really hoping this will go well. I doubt it will. Uh, but I can dream. I can dream. Yep, okay, so it didn't actually push him in here, which is sort of what I was expecting. Oh! Oh! He's in there! Oh my goodness! I'm not sure if that was luck, or if it's going to happen like that consistently. But that's brilliant! So, now we can just go ahead and... The only real requirement I have for these farmers is that once I get their trades up, that they'll be able to trade both for pumpkins and melons. Because underneath this trading hall, we're going to make a massive melon and pumpkin farm. So let's run back over here and get ourselves some emeralds. And we can go ahead and trade with this guy and get things going. I should grab... Yeah, that's enough emeralds. Oh, shoot. This guy is just going to sell me. This guy just wants to buy stuff off of me. Ag. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Should hopefully be enough to at least get him up a level or two. Okay, let's try now. Also, I, I love how this curve looks. There's just this huge sweeping curve here. It's so nice and smooth and pretty, and there, there's still a gap here, uh, but eventually that'll be filled in. Just loving how this is looking. Okay. So. Emeralds. Emeralds. Are you. No. Oh, come on. You can't be serious. I'm already out of wheat. Ugh. Okay, but I'm going to go through this process quite a bit, so we're going to jump back into a hyperspeed build mode that we're not actually going to be building anything in, because we're going to be placing down tons of villagers. Bye-bye. And end of hyper speed build mode, if it could really be called a build mode, since we're just putting together a whole bunch of villagers. And we're we're a bit more than halfway done here. This is actually taking a really long time because I keep having to just AFK for a long time to get enough villagers here. But we have 16 stone masons, and unfortunately, I, only four of these guys will actually sell me. Uh, polished andesite, and only eight of them will sell me any sort of uh, normal colored terracotta, which it, that number should be much closer to, you know, being about 16. So I've just gotten really unlucky with these villagers, uh, though I did have one 
awesome guy over here who gave me Silk Touch picks uh, before he died when I AFK'd last night because I forgot to put these doors down. So I think what I'm going to go ahead and do at some point uh, later on is build a big redstone line on top of it, on, on top of this whole thing, that will go ahead and make sure that I can just, with the flick of a lever, just shut all of these trap doors, so that way all of the villagers stay nice and safe. Uh, but this just looks really cool, and we still have all this stuff here, and up next we're going to go ahead and do all of our... Uh, all of our librarians, and we have 16, not 16, 25 books picked out, as well as a simple thing over here, uh, to just go ahead and pick their, pick their thing, and we'll see how well this works, or how many times I have to change it, uh, but let's go ahead and send down our first villager, and see if we can get something good. Also, I put up a whole bunch of signs over there, which you probably saw, just so I can find them in the future. So he's already picked his profession. What do you sell? Efficiency 1. No. How long, how long does it take for them to lose the thing? I think this might be an effective paper. Oh, also, I found out we're using paper, and that's why my mob farm sucks so much. Uh, because the it gets rid of gets rid of a lot of the lag, but and that's probably why these guys are taking so long to reset. Uh, well, wish me luck. Probably won't be a uh, hyper speed build mode for this, just putting all the villagers in place. Eh, sure, why not? We can go ahead and do do another one. It'll just be kind of boring again. Wish me luck. I'm going to need it. So I just realized that I have a whole bunch of footage that's useless because I accidentally left it on one frame per second from time lapsing. Uh, but we finished up the we finished up all the librarians, and that took a really long time. So we now have twenty six librarians. Uh, it was twenty five, but then I realized that I forgot to put a power librarian. So now this is out of order, and there's no way for me to fix it. But so I have all these guys in place now, uh, and then I set up a zombie village converter, which is this guy here, and this is Carol, she's... Okay, let's try this again, take however many times now. Oh, come on! Uh, so th this is my makeshift villager converter. This is Carol. She's a jerk. Uh, she killed me a bunch of times. Now I've got 11 times. Uh, and she killed me and took all my stuff. But we've gone ahead and converted this villager here, and we've converted him now three times. And I'm told three times is the maximum number you can convert. And it's only dropped to 14. So it's only gotten in half, and... For the amount of time and resources and effort, it's not worth it. It's just not worth it. So we're going to tear this down, and we're going to stick our clerics in there and just deal with them trading rotten flesh at a pretty rotten value. Which is a pity, because I was really hoping that I could get that trade for one emerald, but unless I can do this again, I just can't. And even then, it's just really just not worth it. It's just just too much. So for that let's finally finish this villager thing. I'm tired. I've had enough of this. I never want to work with villagers again. 
as at least while we're on the server before we have to reset eventually I won't God I hate villagers And end of hyperspeed build mode, though I'm still not sure if I should be calling this a hyperspeed build mode. But here we have our full villager trading hall. And this is huge! It actually looked a lot cooler when it wasn't full of villagers, but like... Th this is just huge! We have 96 villagers in here. And I also went ahead and added it a little system that just... I can shut these trap doors when I'm not using the villagers, just so that way I don't have to worry about uh, zombies coming in and killing them. Though hopefully that won't be something I'll have to deal with anyway, because I would really rather not lose these villagers. Uh, and unfortunately these back ones take a while to light, because I think the floor is going to go right here for the next layer, so there wasn't quite enough room for me to raise it up a little bit. So it has to sort of be squished down, and we have all these repeaters in a line. And I don't know of any good way to have that just be a sustained power source that would keep the doors down. But with that, we can actually go ahead and just start uh, popping these rails off. I'll probably do that off screen. Maybe. We just come back down. This just looks so cool. It's awesome. I love it. And, fuck. Yeah, I'm definitely going to do this off screen. Because I'm trying to do this quickly, because I don't want to take up too much time. But then I keep falling, and so I'm just taking up more time, because then I have to fly around. Uh, but we do still have some villagers up here. Ow. Up here is a couple grown-ups and plus these guys, but hopefully I won't ever have to make new villagers. And we did get the, zo the zombie ow, the zombie doctor achievement today, uh, which I've never gotten before. Unfortunately, it happened to be recorded in one frame per second, uh, which isn't exactly brilliant. Um, so you're not going to get to see that. But hopefully I don't have to do anything with these villagers anymore, and I can just leave this here and just start popping this stuff off. Do, 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 do. Damn. Okay, I need a, a slower pick to do this. Because I think any pick will break this stuff off instantly. Maybe? Yeah. Whatever, I'll just... Need to get better at tapping and stuff. But with that, I've been Splashes. Thank you for watching. Bye bye!